I'm Sarah. <laughs> so uh, I think the teachers find they're really surprised at the results because I think most of them thought like they're really like approachable, and then once the results came in, they're like surprised and I don't know, they just they're just shocked. Well, the best part of being involved in Teach the Teacher is probably the skill of talking in front of a bunch of people or a crowd, and also just connecting with the teachers and having fun with all the students. Um, so when I first was introduced to Teach the Teacher, I didn't know anything about it. Um, I wasn't sure about what the aims were and really how I would be able to coordinate um, the number of students across our school that were involved in this program. I think the best part of Teach the Teacher was being able to connect with other students and teachers and finding a common issue that we could bridge the gap between. Oh, the highlight of working with them was actually how friendly they were, as in like it wasn't more of a teacher relationship kind of thing, it was more like a friend kind of thing. I found it really enjoyable because you got to see the other side of the story from the student's point of view. So the biggest challenges we faced is probably making a PowerPoint and because like we didn't know if it was too long, too short, we couldn't think of any ideas. But at the end, we were able to make a PowerPoint that like, we could show to the teachers. Um, I got a chance to sit in on some really valuable discussions with the students. And really, they started to talk about the things that mattered to them most, which was their relationships with teachers, which is what was happening in their classroom, which is what was happening in the community. So the challenges that we faced uh, was for people to actually come up with ideas. Uh, once we got those ideas, we had a lot, so we had to actually pinpoint which ones we actually wanted to work on. Most of them actually like were basically saying the same thing, but in the end we picked Birch Billy, which is pretty good. And while I guess I felt that there were certain things that I've been doing as a teacher to try to build upon teacher to student relationships and even student to student relationships, it was great to hear from the kids what they actually, um, I guess, are looking for. Uh, I think you should definitely join Teach Teacher. You should go on with a group of friends, or if you just want to have like a new group of friends, they're really good to talk to. And uh, you get to talk with the teachers, which is really good. Uh, you get to deepen your relationship with them, and you might develop from saying hi to each other in the locker room to like a full-blown conversation with them. And you guys might actually share hobbies or interests, and you just talk about it like as like someone else, as a friend. Well, firstly, I think like yeah, we the students should definitely like join teach a teacher, and secondly, like you get to connect with the teachers. So, like if you don't know them that well, well you can just like go have a talk with them, and just connect with them even better than you do now. I think they were quite shocked at first at the results. They, I don't think they realized the way that the kids felt about their approachability. I think it's a great opportunity to have a conversation with kids that you don't normally have a conversation with um, and it was good to hear their perspectives on things that you don't necessarily hear in a classroom environment. Um, and through those conversations um, there were a lot of questions that came up and they had to then think about well how are we going to get some answers to some of these questions so we can learn a little bit more about what we want to know about our teachers and our school. Um, and from that, they were able to gather data, they were able to make a plan, they were able to pull apart data from collecting things from their students, um, staff, and actually finding out as much as they possibly can about what matters to them. From yesterday's PD about approachability, I think most of the teachers do, do agree with what we came up with, and I'm pretty sure they took something out of it. For me, uh, having the students working with the teachers about something that they're passionate about and care about, which is being at school. And we spent a lot of time at school together. Um, at the end of it, when they presented all of this to um, our staff, I could see that they were actually bridging that gap between themselves and the teachers, which was extremely empowering, not just for the students, but for the teachers as well. So for example, we talked about approachability, and that was a really important part of what our students were trying to get across to the teachers. 
um, but teachers also got a voice and they got to have an open conversation with the students about what their thoughts are around it. And normally in a classroom environment, when they're teaching, they don't get to have these conversations. So it was really important and valuable that they actually sat down at a table and actually exchanged ideas and talked about what mattered to them the most. But I think it also gave them awareness to kind of figure out what they were going to do about it. One of the things that we well, that I learned was a sense of humility and understanding that students should be valued in all aspects, whether it's within the classroom or outside of the classroom. And it's open. It's really important to have those conversations with those kids. Um, teachers saw the students in a very different light. So some of the teachers that came were teachers that teach these students and they got to see them differently. They got to actually uh, be presented to by their students in a very different light. So I thought that was really valuable as well. And I would really encourage other teachers who haven't gone yet to go because I feel as teachers we make certain assumptions about maybe the way students perceive us and um, you know certain assumptions around the reason why they might play up or not want to take as much part in class or whatever and I guess hearing from the kids themselves it allows you as a teacher to break down those assumptions and sort of filter a little bit through their eyes and their experience and I had to work in a team so with lots of different personalities and the teacher teacher group being from year seven all the way to 12 um, that meant that students from different year levels actually had to come together and bring their ideas together and articulate them and actually create an action plan. So it was actually really um, good that uh, we were actually able to do like a vertical group almost and that was really, really positive but definitely a challenge to try and communicate between the two as well. Because I think they learn a little about what their students are thinking in a way that they probably wouldn't have that conversation in their general um, teaching. So this is like sitting down with them, you know, over a, a, a bite to eat and talking about what's important to them at school. If we're thinking about what could be done to help student teach relationships, I think if teachers work more with the kids on a deeper personal level to help get that bond with the students and know what they personally like, I reckon it would build more of a trust with them, the kids will trust them and they'll be they'll respect them which can create better behaviour. Well, I think for any student that wants to improve their student-teacher relationships throughout the school and uh, have an issue and they want to try and fix that, I think teacher-teacher is the best way to be able to do that. I think the teachers should be a bit more observant around the classroom so that all students can get their equal amount of attention. The best moment was when the icebreaker happened and when every, like the students and the teachers actually like worked with each other and everyone just having a laugh. I think that was the best moment. So our students had to spend a lot of time outside of class, um, so lunch times, after schools, um, getting together as a team. They also had to um, get all the staff and students on board. So when they were trying to collect data, they had to do a lot of promotional work to go around to classes and go around to teachers asking for them to give as much feedback as possible and complete surveys. The thing that stood out to me the most was uh, when one of the teachers said uh, it's not really approachability, it's, to, it's for a human-to-human -human relationship. As uh, teachers will get a better connection with the students and learn more on how to be more approachable to them and stuff like that. The best thing we can do to improve student and teacher relationships is by creating some activities for students to participate with their teachers and they can learn more about each other. We can improve relationships when uh, we talk to the teachers and uh, the teachers understand where the students are coming from. I think that if something's going on at home, the teachers should know about it and if you're having a bad day and acting different, that, that's the reason why. That we can talk to the teachers about how we feel. Um, I think the main thing that people need to do is communicate more. So I think teachers and students need to communicate more in order to improve their relationships. So the teachers, I felt, got a lot out of this uh, professional development opportunity with the students because they actually got a chance to talk about things that they don't normally get to talk to students about. Uh, I think one good way is to get to know each other on a um, very professional and personal level too. No. I feel like um, if teachers would spend um, like um, an equal amount of time with each student, it could really improve not just a certain student but all students. Each other's interests and know how we learn, how we learn best 
and um, to respect each other in the classroom is one big thing. I think that we could have more of a focus on the pastoral care program at Cranbourne Secondary College. I think it already works really well, but I think that's our best point of building relationships with students in class. Student-teacher relationships. Hmm. Could be better with some teachers and some students, but you know it all heavily relies on trust. Teachers should start to try to get to know their students better. Our school, so I think we just the teachers worked on getting a better bond and a trust with the students. I feel like it could really benefit. I'd like to get everyone to grab their chairs and sit in a circle. This game I can relate. And so we aim, so someone will be standing in the middle and they'll say something about themselves. So they'll say something like, I have black hair. Uh, I've taken food from that. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> I barracked for Collingwood. Oh, oh yes! yes. <laughs> Teach the Teacher is a student-led professional learning program for teachers, so as yourself. Um, the aim of the program is to create a positive community for all students, teachers and principals. If I go out there and ask them to do it, they're going to go, yeah, right. Um, this is a perfect opportunity for them to actually come together with other students around the school and talk about what really matters to them. It's creating a change within the school and it's in a leadership capacity. You're leading it, you're planning it, you're executing it, um, and then you're analysing the results. So it's really, really important. It's got to come from students. This has to be student-led. So I would be saying to the students who were in this year's program, go and talk to the students who might be interested because through their words and through their actions, and hopefully you know, watching some of these videos, they will go, you know what, this might be my chance to say what I want to say. Yeah, I do. Yeah, good, okay. So that's gonna <laughs>